And you can see that semi between the Street Force Titans and the Enforcer. Hello again from Leicester and welcome to some more exciting street hockey. And some of the best action from this year's national championship. The Titans have already knocked out the defending champions. Can the Enforcers halt their march to another final? The other London sides have lived in the shadows of the Titans and the Warriors, but teams like these form the backbone of street hockey, and they're here at Leicester too. Ashmead and Red were one of the first street hockey teams to get organized way back in 1981. They were a force to be reckoned with until they folded in 1986. This season, they've reformed and qualified for the finals by winning Division Two of the Central London League. In yellow, it's the Backstreet Cruisers. Formed in 1985, they play in the West London League. Until this season, they haven't had a permanent place to train or play, but now they do, and they're hoping to better last year's performance at Leicester when they were knocked out in the quarterfinals. Mark Johnson there, who got that well-worked goal, one of five scored by Ashmead in this encounter. Onto the second half, and despite being down, the Backstreet Cruisers never gave up. In the end, neither team made it to the knockout stage, but there was some vintage stuff from Carl Toppin. Carl Toppin, 22, for Ashmi. Gives it to number 11, Frank Thompson. He loses out there. And Frank's Carl Toppin comes in and puts it in the back of the net. He doesn't need a second chance when he gets a free shot at goal. Carl Toppin, number 22, for the Ashmead Cruisers, a shorthanded goal. Dug out of the corner to Carl Toppin, whips it in before the keeper even has a chance to breathe. Toppin used to play for the Titans, so why leave a team used to top honors for a club just starting up again? Change is as good as the rest, usually. Just move, move on to new uh, teams, help other teams come up, and uh, make it a better competition all around, as opposed to just having the Titans and the Warriors getting through to the final all the time. Ashmead is a team that um, a group of guys I like, and they usually play sensible hockey. <laughs> Other London teams include the Apollo Sprints. The Sprints are in control, they play for fun. And as they well know, all good things cost, but some things are worth paying for. Yeah, we all pay subs, you know, a few pounds a month, and it all sort of adds up. And it's like personal possession, everyone will go out and you know, buy their own kit because they, they, they want to play, so that's the only way we can do it. Then there's the Tolworth Terminators. They play in the West London League and have just completed their second full season. And here's the Terminators fulfilling their dream, playing at the national championships for the first time. They're on pitch two against the Destroyers in blue.
Ilworth made it as far as the quarter-finals, so what did they make of the standard of play at Leicester? It's fast. It was just fast. It got faster. <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, when you're going through the cones, remember, right? I want to see the ball working all the time. It's got to be moving around. Let's see, you go outside the cones, inside the cones. What you're doing at the moment is just weaving in and out. The ball has to work. Don't forget, stick handling is a very major part of our game, OK? Let's move it around. You want another go at this? Keep working the ball and looking up. The Redskins are another of the West London League clubs. They were runners-up in the league, took three trophies, and they're making their third visit to the Nationals. Don't forget, every cone's a player. Keep looking up, seeing where the opposition is. There's more to life than street hockey for the renegade Redskins. Everybody does other bits and pieces. Uh, a few of us play ice hockey, uh, football, obviously. And we've got another guy who's quite good on athletics. So does all that help when it comes to street hockey? Well, if you don't practice your ball control skills, you can forget it. So it's work, 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 and the reward comes at Leicester. So the first face-off for the enforcers in back, Juggs wins it to number seven, T, Antonio Joseph. It's the enforcers in black against, in orange, the renegade Redskins. Redskins take it up the middle. Not sure the type of game that the enforcers are going to play. I think they're going for it. Oh, they're going for gold this time round, rather than hold back. And there was no holding back. Beats two, beats three, and what a goal. Pav gets the second goal for the enforcers. If you notice the control that he has over the ball and his stick, he used to be a grass player at one time. And he brings it up right past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. to Maestro, to Vision, off the body of Mike Williams. What can I say, Mike Williams is doing really well. Stallion to Juggs. A what? brilliant goal from Juggs in the top Ju right Juggs hand corner. does not miss shots like that, not in a hurry anyway. So it's the enforcers through to meet the mighty Titans. And who do you think is going to win this next game? The enforcers, of course. Well, everyone has a chance until the final whistle blows. The enforcers will be relying on the goal-getting skills of Juggs, their top scorer, and on T, Antonio Joseph, who's been on target here at Leicester already. The Street Force Titans will be looking to Mo, Robert Christian, their top scorer here at the championships, and Colin Archibald, who's really come on since last year, another scoring forward. So, testing out the balls, there's been a number of complaints this year from the players who've been saying the ball is softer than it was last year. Do you think that could just be the lights, the fact that it's so hot here that the ball gets a bit softer and it's a bit harder to play? I think that's probably what the problem is, because, I mean, a softer ball, obviously, it slows down the game. I mean, as it hits the bar barriers, it just sticks. Uh, that's probably why they're changing over the ball so regularly. That's right, they're always bringing in new balls to try and make sure they have the hardest ones possible before the lights begin to move.